Shalom to the nation of Israel. Shalom, Shalom. I right, will the Israelites who come in as often as possible. First and foremost, I right, give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Waha, Racha, Wadash. Shalom to the hopeful elect. I'm beginning with um, the 144,000 men and the um, innumerable multitudes, man. Right, because that's what most High is raising up in these latter days. Alright? He's raising up the tabernacle of David. Okay, so uh, you get uh, Revelation 19 and 10. Because you know, that's the spirit that we move in, man. The spirit of prophecy. Alright? Because we're entering a so called new year. Alright? And this so called new year that we're entering into is it, basically, um, you know. A, a year of prophecy because what's happening in um is it in june or july in june you're gonna have what the mandatory microchip for cats okay so if you get out yeah 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 the book of revelations chapter 19 and verse 10 and it reads and i fell at his feet to worship him yeah and he said unto me see don't do it not. That's right. I am thy fellow servant yep. and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship Yahweh. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Yeah, and uh, you know, John the Revelator in the island of Patmos, he wanted to worship that holy angel. But the holy angel told him, he said, See thou do it not, meaning don't don't worship me. You know, I am thy fellow servant, meaning that, you know, that they're co-workers to us. Because because um, the angels, they do missions in, in the heavens, whereas, you know, the hopeful elect, you know, we do missions on earth. All right, so the angel was telling him, see thou do it not, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm your fellow servant. And, and thy brethren, meaning I'm mostly your brother as well, you know. And, and he holds the testimony of Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy, okay. And he said, worship the Most High, because you're only meant to worship the Most High and His Son. Okay, that's the spirit that we're meant to move in, man. The spirit of prophecy. And these latter days, you're seeing what's going on uh, across the world with uh, Palestine. Right, you're seeing massive explosions. Uh, what's the name of that terrorist group again in, um, uh, in um, Palestine? I think it's... Uh, it's, not, it's not, um, yeah, yeah, can't. You can type it in. So there's a terrorist group that killed the Jake uh, from far back. I think the name of that terrorist group is called. Um, oh, I can't even remember the name, man. What is it again? Hamas. Yeah, Khan Hamas. Yeah, Hamas is, is, is a terrorist group that's torment. Well, we believe that you know they're funded by the government. All right, because. Esau is really behind most of these things that, that's going on behind the scenes, the, the wicked elite of Esau. But we know that eventually Esau's kingdom is coming to an end. And the kingdom of the Yahweh Shai is coming. Because what we're doing right now is, um, you know, people in the world, they're unenlightened to this gospel. They look at us as crazy, but they're going to realize that we wasn't crazy, man. You got their pocket for? Yeah, so it's Wisdom of Solomon 5, man. Because, you know, what we're doing right now is we're standing in great boldness in the face of those that have afflicted us. Okay. Verse 1. It's the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, and verse 1. Yeah. And it reads, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness yes, sir. for the face of such as have afflicted him. Go ahead. And made no account of his labors. Yes, yeah, so we're standing in great boldness in the face of such as have afflicted us, man. Okay? And who has afflicted us? When you read Psalms chapter 83, it gives you a list of people that have afflicted the nation of Israel, man. Alright? The Edomites, the so called white people. Alright? The Ishmaelites, which are the Arabs. Alright? The Moabites, which are the Chinese. Okay, the Ammonites to the Japanese. Alright, all these heathen nations have afflicted Israelites. 
and including our people, beginning with them. Because Yahweh Shai said that, um, you know, he that has delivered me unto you has the greatest sin. So our people are in serious trouble. All right? Any questions? Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, so Israelites are in serious trouble, man. Right, how are they in serious trouble? Because they don't want to serve Yahweh Hashem, Hamashek Yahushai. So we're standing in great boldness in the face of those that have afflicted us. Because what does it say in the scriptures? Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem that slays the prophets. So they have afflicted the prophets, man. Uh, carry on now. Where's the Solomon chapter 5, verse 2? And it reads, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. Yeah, so when they see the Israelites stand in great boldness, you know, they, these nations are in terrible fear. Why are they in terrible fear? Because they know that their time is running up, including the, the, you know, the, the Rothschild family, the uh, Rockefellers. They're in great fear as well. Because why? Because their kingdom is coming to an end. All right? So this is the reason why they're troubled in great fear. Go ahead, Ak. And shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. Yep. So far beyond all that they looked for. And there was the salvation, man. What the world calls the UFOs, the UAPs, the chariots. All right, that's what's going to beam us out of this place, man. All you people going to see us get beamed up in a UFO right before your very eyes, man. And you're going to realize that your gods are bullshit, man. Your, your Muslim religion is nonsense. Your, your Hinduism with the, the, the elephant and the five hands, you know, the, the um, Catholic religion is nonsense. It, uh, if you get uh, Jeremiah 16, starting at verse uh, 18, man. Jeremiah 16 and 18. Book of Jeremiah, chapter 16 and verse 18. And it reads, and first I will recompense. Oh, Salah, is it 19? Sorry. I think it's. Uh, it's Jeremiah 16 and 18. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, can't, can't. Yeah, can't. 819, Salah. Book of Jeremiah. Chapter 16 and verse 19, and it reads, O oh Lord Yahweh, my yep. strength yep. and my fortress yep. and my refuge in the day of affliction, yep. the Gentiles shall come unto thee yep. from the ends of the so earth. In the day of affliction, these nations that you see, the Arab man, the Chinese man, the so called white man, Elam, all right, the Japanese, all these nations, they're going to come unto us. Because, you know, how do they come unto the Lord? By coming unto the Israelites. Because the Most High is too massive for you to meet. Let's carry on. Um, and shall say, surely our fathers have inherited lies. Have inherited lies. What's the lies that they've inherited? Because you have people out there, um, you know, they put on the religion of their parents. You know, their parents, bring them into their, most people on earth, they follow the religion of their parents. So they've inherited lies. What's those lies that they've inherited? They've inherited the uh, Muslim religion, Christianity, all right? Uh, all these different philosophies they've inherited. They, they're gonna come to a conclusion that all these ideologies are lies. Go ahead, huh? Vanity and things wherein there is no profit. Vanity and things wherein there's no profit and there's no benefit. It's not beneficial to serve a stone. It's not beneficial to serve wood. There's no benefit out of serving those things, man. Right? If you get the letter of Jeremiah, Apocrypha, chapter 1, starting at verse 60. Okay.
Type OS uh, 64. Letter of Jeremiah 1, verse 64, and it reads, Wherefore it is neither to be supposed nor said that they are gods, yep. seeing they are able neither to judge causes nor to do good unto men. Yeah, these stone idols, hold that, you know, these stone idols, right? These, a stone can't judge you, you know? <laughs> a tree can't judge you. <laughs> so that just shows you right there that, you know, they're serving things that have no power. Go ahead, that. That's cool. So that shows you right there that, you know, these idols that the heathen worship, there's no power inside those idols, man. But we serve the living power, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Go ahead, that. Verse 65. Knowing therefore that they are no gods, fear them not. Yeah, don't be afraid. When you got a Muslim saying, you know, that Muhammad is the true prophet, don't fear that. When you got people out there saying different kind of things about oh, the Hinduism religion, don't fear what they're saying because the gods that they serve are idols. The gods that they serve have no power. That's the reason why, you know, when you have nations out there saying stuff like, oh, um, you know, you know, repent, repent. I'm thinking in my head, you don't even know what repentance is, man. But go ahead, that. Verse 66. For they can neither curse nor bless kings. Yep. Verse 67. Neither can they show signs in the heavens. Yeah. Among, neither can they show signs in the what? In the heavens. Uh huh. Sorry. Neither can they show signs in the heavens yep. among the heathen. Yeah, when we see the so called UFOs, man. <laughs> We're dealing on a higher frequency, man. You got all these people out there serving all these different idols. We're on a high frequency out here, man. Because we see the chariots of Yahweh Shim, Hamashek Yahushai, all these guys that are in all these different religions and belief systems. What signs do they see? They don't see no signs, man. We got different, we're, we're on, you know, he suppose in the quantum realm. The quantum realm, or what, the unseen realm, man. You know, there's a world that you can see and there's a world that you cannot see, man. There's angels, the holy angels that are standing around us right now. It's just that, you know, your eyes can't see them right now. But if the Lord increased your spiritual eye, like he did to Elijah, you'll be able to see the chariots and the angels, man. Go hear that. Yep. He, among the heathen, nor shine as the sun, yep. nor give light as the moon. Yep. Go ahead. Verse 68. The beasts are better than they. Hang on a second. We just heard a bird chirp, man. It says the beasts are better than they, man. You know, you got people out there serving the stone, serving, you know, wood. The Bible says the beasts are better than they. You know, if you have someone that has a, a statue of a Hindu god with hands, you know, if you stone that shit, it's gonna stand, man. But at least if you wanna kill a rat or something, the rat is like, you know, fighting for his life, man. <laughs> so it simply says the beasts are better than they, man. So we're serving a living power, man. So there's nothing to be afraid of because the Most High is with us. Scripture says, if the Most High be with us, who can be against us? Nobody, no no one. And that's the reason why it's important to uh, serve the Most High in truth and in sincerity because, you know, you know, Scripture speaks about how uh, cursed be the one that do the work of the Lord deceitfully. So we have to do the work of the Lord in truth and in sincerity. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much, you know, the point. You know, that's, that's, that's the spirit that we got to move in, man. Okay? Because there's a lot of lies that have been spread. If you get 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 1. Yeah, there's a lot of lies being spread around. And that's the reason why we have to be careful of these doctrines. We have to stick to the doctrine which we have learned. All right? We can't move in uh, all these different ideologies, man. We've got to stick to the doctrine that which we have learned. What's the doctrine, man? The Most High name being Yahweh. His son's name being Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai only dying for the, what the 12 tribes of Israel. Alright? The RFID chip is the mark of the beast. You know, the chariots are the vehicles of the angels. Alright? This is the doctrine, man. We have to keep it the way it is. Keep it pure. Go ahead. That. The book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 2, verse 1. And it reads, Now we beseech you, brethren. 
yeah. by the comment of our Lord Yahawashai Hamashiach. Yeah. That's right. And by our gathering together unto him. That's right, go ahead. Huh? Verse 2. That ye be not soon shaken in mind. Yeah, or, don't be shaken in mind. You have to be rooted inside your faith. You know how the wind is blowing. You see the trees, they're standing straight. They're not moving, they're not shaking their mind. Go ahead, huh? Or be troubled. Neither, don't be troubled. Go ahead. Neither by spirit. Neither by spirit. Don't be troubled. Because what? You can't be afraid of what Esau can do. Because when, when you're enlightened in, in this ministry, when you're enlightened inside this gospel, you understand that you don't really die. You understand? You don't really die because when, when, when Yahweh Shai returns, what does it say? The dead in Yahweh Shai will rise first and also them which are alive so that shows you right there that um there's nothing to be afraid of when it comes to death because we're seeking what eternal life we're seeking immortality i right, go ahead that nor by word yep nor by letter yep as from us yep as that the day of hamashiach is at hand the day of hamashiach Yahawashai is at hand how is the day of Hamashiach at hand? Because when you, when you meditate on it, we're seeing the science, man. We're seeing what's going on. You know, you got Elon Musk really working on that Neuralink brain chip. All right. You have, um, you know, um, AI that's really enhancing. Uh, you got robots out there as well. <laughs> Trust me, a lot of things are happening. You see abominations going on. You got men dressing up in, in, in a, you know, unmodestly wearing the garments of a woman which is an abomination and that's the reason why the law has to destroy this place man with nuclear fire man go ahead Ak. verse 3 let no man deceive you by any means yes we well, hang on a second he said let no man deceive you but he emphasized and said by any means so you can't allow anyone to trick you you have to be very careful on how you move inside this walk because there's deceiving spirits that are walking around and these deceiving spirits that are walking around they can entice you and and and, and teach you to teach uh, uh the wrong thing you know like we are called we call ourselves the hopeful elect because we're hoping to be part of the elect we're not calling ourselves part of that number because the bible says if you hope for something that you can see then why do you still hope? But if you hope for something which you can't see, then with patience, you wait for it. Go ahead, Ak. Let no man deceive you by any means. Yep. For that day shall not come. Yep. Except there come a call, sorry, except they come a falling away first. Hang on, and that falling away, you know, we fell out of our, um, you know, 70 AD, when the uh, second temple was destroyed, you know, we fell away from our identity, all right? But then also that falling away can also go into people departing from the faith. Because remember, Yahweh Shai said, um, Scripture speaks about how um, um, shall ye still find faith on the earth when the Son of Man returns? All right, so there's going to be a massive falling away of people departing from the faith, no? That falling away first, carry on out. And that man of sin be revealed. Yep. The son of perdition. The son of perdition. Right? Which is Esau Edom, the so-called white man. That's who the uh, man of sin is. How is he the man of sin? Because he's pushing out his uh, wicked ideologies. His wicked ideologies. He's, he's um, putting uh, fluoride inside the water. He's spraying chemtrails inside the air. He's putting plastic. You know, even in Syria alone, he's stealing diamonds, okay? He's causing all manner of destruction on earth. So he has to be put down, man, because he's destroying the earth. Right? He's, he's, he's destroying the earth. And our people, Israelites, they're moving in the same spirit as Esau Edom. Because what, they, what are they doing? They're doing the same thing Esau's doing. They are destroying the earth because the Most High told our people and said that we should keep the commandments. If we keep the commandments, we will be set on high to all nations. But if we didn't keep it, you know, we will be set on low. So you're seeing the effect of not in listening to the Most High happen on earth. Go ahead, Verse 4. 
who opposeth and exalteth himself yep. above all that is called Yahweh. Yeah, he who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that's called Yahweh. All right, because how does he exalt himself? Iconoclism. I see the whitewashing the images. When you type in the only begotten Son of the Most High or the Messiah on Google, what do you see? You see a Caucasian man with stringy hair. All right, so that's basically uh, uh, you know exalting himself as, as the Most High because the Most High Son Yahweh Shai resembles his father. Go ahead. He opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called Yahweh, or that is worshipped. Yeah. So that he, as Yahweh, sitteth in the temple of Yahweh. Sorry. Or, or that is worshipped. So that he, as Yahweh, sitteth in the temple of. Just, just say Most Yahweh. High, because it's talking about Esau, really. Where well, it says God. Yeah. Okay, I'll take that for God. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called the Most High. Mm -hmm. All that is worshipped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that he, as the Most High, sitteth in the temple of the Most High, showing, so, showing himself that he is the Most High. Yeah, and he's exalting himself as if he is the Most High. How is he exalting himself as, as, as if he is the Most High? Because he has these, um, you know, helicopters, all right? And when, he, when he's up there in the helicopters, he's like, this is my world, man. Look at all these buildings. Look at all these roads and traffic lights. I own this. And how does he exalt himself as the Most High? You know, you got these wicked elites of Esau, Edom, they exalt themselves the most high because they, they control the system. They control the economy. There's an elite class that control this society. You know, people are, 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 are systematic slaves inside this system, man. Go ahead, huh? Verse 5. Remember ye not that when I was with you, I told you... It's raining. Remember ye not that when I was with you, I told you these things, and now you know that withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. And he's being revealed in his time right now. Because why? Because as we're prophesying, we're telling you that the so-called white man Esau Edom is the devil that the Bible speaks of, and he is the man of sin. He is the man of sin. And his goal is to wipe out the 12 tribes of Israel. That's his goal, man. All right? You, you read the Georgia Guidestones. What did it say? Decrease the human population to 500 million. That's what he wrote on the Georgia Guidestones. So their plan is to exterminate the 12 tribes of Israel. That's their whole agenda. That's their motive. That's what they're focusing on doing. And that's the reason why we're out here to warn our people and to tell them and listen and tell them listen that great evils is coming upon the earth great destruction is coming and it's time to get yourself ready and right you know you, you watch that movie by uh will smith called i robot you know you had that woman um in the clip she basically now uh told um the robot and said i'm trying to go to church i'm trying to go to service and the robot basically told her and said please ma'am you know Please stay inside your home. So they're basically mocking, you know, the plantation Christians. Because Jesus can't save you from an AI robot, but Yahweh Shai can. You see? And that's the reason why we have to really, you know, take this ministry as serious as possible. Because, you know, we're in, in war. Not only just are we in war with um, the other nations, we're in war with ourselves as well. Because the, your, your greatest enemy is yourself. That's who your greatest enemy is. And also, we're also in war with these uh, demons and these uh, principalities. You get Ephesians uh, 6 and 10. I we're in war with these demonic spirits. They want to see us fail. I we're in war, man. That's why you have to put on the armor and prepare yourself and get ready. Because when you don't put on the armor, when you don't, you know, put on this uh, word, how are you going to be ready to fight? You have to equip yourself. Notice how it calls the armor, but you know, it, you know, the most high armor has equipment. 
headgear, breastplate, boots, swords, shield, belt. That's equipment. Go hear that. The book of Ephesians, chapter 6 and verse 10. And yep. it reads, Finally, my brethren, be yep. strong in the Lord yep. and in the power of his might. Yep. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh that ye may be able to stand against the against the wiles of the devil. Yeah, put on the whole armor that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. What's the wiles of the devil? All these belief systems like atheism, agnostic, Catholic, monotheists, all these doctrines of devils. That's that's um you know indoctrinating people to follow lies. Go ahead. Huh? Verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against yeah. principalities, yeah. against powers, yeah. against the rulers of the darkness of this world, yeah. against spiritual wickedness in high places. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. You got people out there casting spells on the men of the Lord. But what does it say in the Bible? No enchantment will work on Jacob. And that's the reason why we have to pray constantly. We have to fast this world. We have to pray. We have to put ourselves in that right spirit because, you know, we're in war against, you know, these demons, these unclean spirits that are walking around. All right. What does the word demon mean? It means intelligence. You got spirits out there that are well, running to and fro, looking for who they may devour. You understand? If you actually could see what was going on in the spiritual realm, you know, you'll be like, wow, like I really got to get myself right, get, get myself right. We always gotta remember in the back of your mind that anytime that these trials happen, is to is to refine you. You know the reason why Satan was attacking Job was really for Job to be refined. You understand? It wasn't that Satan just attacked him. It was for the Most High to. What, what Satan does is Satan really um, he exposes people for who they really are. He exposes your um, your true colors. Alright, because ultimately all these spirits were created to glorify the Most High. All these spirits were designed to glorify Yahweh Hashim Yahushai, whether it be on the left hand, whether it be on the right hand. And uh, yeah, we're investing into something great. You know, you got people out there focusing on all these uh, earthly affairs. You know, we're getting paid real money out here, man. Real money that counts. Because everything that you see is going to pass away. We're not going to have no Mercedes Benz or Ferraris or Bugattis. You know, we're not going to have all these things. In the kingdom of heaven, we're going to be driving the, the UFOs, man. We're going to be having planets out here, man. All these tarmac roads that you see got to go, man. All this stuff is going to be things forgotten about. All right? Including the Edomites as well. Because what do they mean? They mean. Edom, Esau means what? Wasted away. So his kingdom is going to be wasted away. He's going to be wasted away. But we're going to use him to build our kingdom for 1,000 years though. Uh, uh, if you get that in um, Isaiah 60, starting at verse 9. Because the Lord is, is going to create, you know, he's going to make the Israelite man into a God, man. Into a power. You know, the, the Lord is going to bestow heavy amount of power on the Israelite man. You know, one, one person is going to be able to sweep a thousand people. You know, imagine, you know, Esau want to talk about the, the, the new world order. This is the real new world order, man. We're going to conquer the whole entire earth. The whole world is going to be enslaved under the 12 tribes of Israel, man. Whether people like it or not. All right, go ahead. Out. The Book of Isaiah, chapter 16. And 16. Oh, 60, sorry. 60, at nine. All right, we're gonna be ruling the earth in righteousness, and any nation that doesn't want to comply will be utterly wasted, according to the Book of Isaiah, 60. 60 verse nine, yeah. Yes, yeah, 60, 60 verse nine. You can't. Book of Isaiah, chapter 60. Book of Isaiah. Can get there. Isaiah, chapter 60, verse 9. Yep. And it reads, 
Surely the Isles shall wait. Isles, Isles, Surely the Isles shall wait for me. Yeah. And the ships of Tarshish, sorry Tarshish, first yeah. to bring thy sons from afar. Uh -huh. Their silver and their gold with yeah. them. Their silver and their gold with them. All the silver that they have, that's our that's our inheritance, man. Real money is not plastic, man. You know, real money is not plastic. Real money is silver and gold. That's what you call real money. But because people are brain dead out here, they don't even know what real money is. Real money is silver and gold, okay? Silver and gold carries value, not plastic that you see. You know, the same plastic that they use for money is the same plastic they use for Walker's Crisp and uh, Twix, man. <laughs> Isn't it the same? It's madness, man. Go ahead, that. The silver and the gold with them unto the name of the Lord, yeah, yeah, unto the Lord thy God, Yahweh, yep. and to the Holy One of Israel. That's right. Because he have glorified thee. And he's going to glorify us, man. Because right now we're going through our um, humiliation ritual. Because right now it might seem embarrassing to uh, people wearing this ephod, but hey, this is the garments that the holy angels wear, man. This is this is a uh, this garment right here is it, it, on a. Uh, um, this is what the ancient prophets used to wear in the ancient world. All right, we're on a he we're on a heavenly level out here, man. We're on a heavenly level out here. Our third eye been open out here, man. All these people that you see right here are the valleys of dry bones. Dry bones, man. The Lord is only going to preserve an elect out here. We're, you know, the Lord is only going to preserve a one third. The rest of the other people, their predicament is going to be a bad scenario. And we don't want to know what predicament they're going to be in. That's the reason why we're out here, because we fear Yahweh Shem Yahushai. We fear the Most High. Because we know what the Most High is capable of doing. Because what did the Most High do in the time of Noah? He said, Noah, enter into the ark with your sons and with his wives and wipe everybody out. So the Lord is going to do the same thing, man. But this time, he's going to save an elect and he's going to burn everybody else. And the French fries that are left are going to go into slavery, man. So go ahead, that. Verse 10. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls. Yep. And the kings shall minister unto thee. Yeah, the kings will minister unto us. At the one Ratazar. They're gonna minister unto us. They're gonna you see the same way in the EU they have a podium of um, global leaders that speak about global events. That was meant to be our position. But in the kingdom of heaven, we were designed Israel was the, was designed to be leaders. That's why the 144,000 men, they're, they're leaders, man. Go ahead, huh? For in my wrath I smote thee. Yep. For in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Yeah, and, and in his wrath he smote us because the Lord has smote us in numerous times in the Egyptian captivity, the Persian, the Grecian, the Roman. Even in this captivity that we're entering, that we're in right now, the Lord has smote us. But in the time of, um, you know, in, in the kingdom of heaven, the Lord is going to have mercy on us, man. Go ahead, Lord willing. Therefore, thy gates shall be open continually. You see, in the kingdom of heaven, the gates are going to be open continually. Go ahead. They shall not be shut day nor night. Yep. That men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles. Imagine that, and, and you got to visualize billions of heathens, billions, man. And they're bringing in gold, they're bringing in silver, they're bringing in resources. Ooh. We're going to be so wealthy. Hey, hey, w w one member of the elect is going to be richer than all the Rothschilds and Rockefellers combined. Just one member of the elect is going to be precious than fine gold. Our value is going to increase on a high level. All right, go ahead. Huh? And that the kings may be brought. Verse 12, for the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yep. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. 
Yeah, the nation and kingdom that will not. And you know, they go, you got know, even when I say, oh, these guys are black monkeys, they're niggers, and all this stuff. Well, the same niggers and black monkeys are going to rule over you, man. And the Most High said that if, if, if you don't want to serve us, you're going to die, man. You're going to perish. You're going to die, man. So you, you, it's either you die or you comply, man. Pick a side. Go ahead, huh? Verse 13. The glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee. Yeah. The fir tree, the pine tree, and the box together. Yeah. To beautify the place of my sanctuary. Yeah. And I will make the place of my foot of my feet glorious. And what's the place of the most high feet? The earth. Because scripture says heaven is my throne, the earth is my footstool. So it says he's gonna make the place of his feet, the place of his footstool, glorious. I, the earth is not going to be the only place we're going to explore, man. We're going to explore galaxies, planets. You know? Do you know how many planets are out there? You know, because we've been on earth for so long, we only think that there's one, there's, there's only one planet. Nah, there's, there's multiple galaxies out there, man. There's realms out there. That's why Yahweh Shai uh, get uh, John 14, starting at verse uh, 1. Yahweh Shai was, what do you think Yahweh Shai was doing? What do you think Yahweh Shai was doing, man? He was creating planets out there for his elect. One elect might own their own planet just for themselves. Or you might have a big palace full of different precious stones, oinks, jasper, sapphire, topaz, different precious stones in your palace. You know, brothers gonna have many wives in the kingdom many chariots in the kingdom many children in the kingdom as well go ahead out uh, john 14 and 1. yeah yeah can. the book of john chapter 14 verse 1 yeah how shall i speak it let not your heart be troubled yeah believe in the most high yahweh yeah believe also in me yeah that's all you gotta do it's not a hard job it's not a hard job all you gotta do is believe in the most high Believe in his son. It's not a complicated job out here. All right, carry on that. Verse two, in my father's house are many mansions. What's those mansions talking about planets? In, Cause the most has planets out there, bro. He got galaxies out there. All right. He got, do you have any planets? Are, the earth is not the only planet. There's many other planets out there. Go ahead. If it were not so, I would have told you. If it were not so, he would have told you. So we got a massive thing to inherit. Okay? Uh, and there's going to be a crowning ceremony as well. But we, we just got to jump this huge hurdle that's coming. All right? What's that huge hurdle that's coming? Jacob's trouble, the mark of the beast. The, these are the hurdles that we have to jump over. And also repentance as well, because when someone takes the, the microchip into their brain or into their hand, there's no repentance. That person cannot repent if they take the chip into their brain or into their hand. If you can get, uh, oh, you, you didn't finish off. Oh, yeah, finish off, yeah. I go to prepare a place for you. Yeah, yeah, how should I say I go to prepare a place for you? How is he preparing it? You know when someone goes to the kitchen and says, oh, I'm preparing rice and stew, you know? Yahweh Shai is preparing what? These clients for, for the elect. You know, you got to believe it, man. You know? And brothers will receive spiritual power before Yahweh Shai returns. If you get Isaiah 59, starting at verse 19 on the phone, Blue Letter Bible, you got that. Oh, come on, that's cool. Just get Isaiah 59.90. That's cool. But yeah, you know, the Lord, <laughs> brother's going to receive spiritual power in these terrestrial bodies, man. In these human bodies that we're in. Because you, you ain't going to need a standard lifted up when uh, Yahweh Shai returns. Because when Yahweh Shai returns, every, everybody's getting put down. So it only logically makes sense that that standard will be lifted up 
in this present day, because what, what, what do you need a stand? What do you need a standard for if you have a shy is returning? It, it don't make any sense. Because when you have a shy returns, you know, it, it's game over, man. So that standard is gonna happen in this lifetime. That's why you are gonna have some brothers that Esau ain't gonna be able to kill. So certain brothers, when Esau comes after them, you are gonna see teleportation, man. You are gonna see put into you gonna see spiritual power, and that's when people really are gonna bug out when they see that power that Yahweh Shimei Al Shai is about to bestow. Go ahead, that. Go Good. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. You know you're an Israelite though. What? Do you believe in the Bible? Uh, no, 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 no. I've said, do you believe in the Bible? Uh, Where are you from? from Algeria. Algeria. You know yeah. you're Israelite. Yeah. Do you? Do you? What do you? What's your uh, religion? What? Your religion. Your religion. Yeah, Muslim. Muslim. Or Muslim. Yeah, Muslim. Oh, oh, but do you know that um, the the Messiah's son, Yahweh Shai. They even call him Jesus, all right? He's a so-called black man according to the scriptures. Yeah. Uh, no, no worry, it's cool. Yeah. Stay blessed. Yeah, but they're jakes, man. Come on. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Um, Isaiah 59. And it's funny because he looks Hispanic as well, like the Latinos. Yeah, literally, I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, 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 those Algerians look like Latinos, man. Yeah. I would not guess that you come out You see? The book of Isaiah, the 59th chapter and the 19th verse. So shall they fear the name of the Lord. They're going to fear the name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai. Because the Most High's name is not famous right now. The Most High's name is not famous. If I went, if I walked up to this, to anybody in public and asked them, do you know the Most High's name? They'd be like, is in his name God, man. You know? <laughs> that's, that's what they're going to say. So the Most High's name is not po it's not uh, popular right now, but there's going to be a time where the Most High's name is going to be viral. Everyone is going to know the name Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. You really think the Most High created the earth and nobody knows his name? Go ahead. Huh? So, so he's, they're going to fear the name of the Lord. And right now we're speaking to them about the name of the Lord, but clearly no one can receive the name right now apart from the hopeful elect so in other words the only way they're going to fear the name of the lord is via the spiritual power go ahead Ak. so shall they fear the name of the lord yahweh from the west yep and his glory from the rising of the sun yep in the east yeah when the enemy shall come in like a flood yeah the spirit of the lord yahweh shall lift up a standard against him. The spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. Because you might have some, some military, well, you're going to have army officers, robots, that are going to come after the, you know, the men of, of, of uh, Yahweh Hashim Yahu Shai. All right? And when they come after uh, the men of Yahweh Hashim Yahu Shai, that spiritual power is, is going to, um, that spiritual power you're going to be able to protect yourself, man. And that's before Yahweh Shai returns. So the Lord is about to bless brothers with power before the Yahweh Shai returns. And that standard is, is the Lord defending you. That standard is, is the Lord protecting you. But then you're also going to have brothers that are going to have to uh, be beheaded for the gospel. Uh, if you get uh, Revelation uh, 20 and 4. You're also going to have, because remember, the Lord said what? A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just way is His delight. So you're going to have brothers that will get the standard, and then you're going to have brothers that will be beheaded, martyrs for the ministry. Yeah, get out, huh? The book of Revelations, chapter 20, and verse 4. Yeah. And it reads, And I saw thrones, yeah. and they sat upon them. Yeah. And judgment was given unto them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai. Yeah. And for the word of Yahweh. Yeah. 
and I say, 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 they say they were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai. So you're going to have some brothers in the ministry, like it says, according to Revelation 20 and 4, you're going to have certain brothers that are going to be beheaded for the ministry. Now, you know, there's nothing to be afraid of because even if, you know, you're, in, you're caught in that situation of being beheaded, remember that, you know, you're going to be the first one resurrected when Yahweh Shai returns. He says the dead in Yahweh Shai will rise first. Go ahead up. And which had not worshipped the beast, yep. neither his image, yep. neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their right hands. Or in their hands. Hands. It's like in their hands, sorry. It says hands. So, hey, that's a cut for you uh, guys that say, oh, uh, Revelation 13 and 16 says, in their right hand and foreheads. Uh, uh, Revelation 20 and 4 says the hands, plural. So if someone takes the chip on their left hand or in their right hand, they're going to be destroyed, man. Uh, if you get uh, Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 1, but... Should I finish it? Oh, can't go ahead. Neither, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. Yeah. And they lived and reigned with Hamashiach a thousand years. And what's that 1,000 years, that millennial reign? That millennial reign is for the uh, 1,000 years where the elect and Yahweh Shai going to rule the earth. They're going to rule the earth longer than 1,000 years, but to, um, you know, make the earth look like paradise, it's going to take a period of 1,000 years. You know, we're going to have to get these heathens to pick up all the litter, all the, um, you know, all these uh, tarmac roads are going to have to be removed. So it's not like when you get the celestial body, you're just going to be standing there doing nothing. You're still going to be working, man. You're still going to have to organize heathens to organize the earth. Go ahead, up. Oh, sorry, which one is it? Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 1. Because, you know, we got to speak about those that die inside the gospel. Because those that die inside the faith, you know, they, they, they ain't going to be able to... Um, there's nothing to worry about because... You're going to be in peace because you're coming back. Yeah, you know, Esau might be like, yeah, I got him, I got him. Let me just press the button and cut his head off. But hey, he ain't got you because when you hold to Yahweh Shai, you hold immortality. When you know Yahweh Shai, you know immortality. So that means that you don't really die. Go ahead, huh? The Book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, and verse 1. Yeah. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of Yahweh, and there shall no torment touch them in the sight of the unwise. What does it mean, the sight of the unwise? Go ahead. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die. Was it in the sight of the unwise, they seem to die? Because you might have these concentration camps, and then all of a sudden you got to believe on Yahweh Shai. You know, he got his head cut off. And then you got some people out there that say, I wonder why, you know, he got his head cut off. Like, what's the reason why? <laughs> you know, because these nations, they don't want our attention so badly, man. They're so fixated. She, she could have even went around that way. But anyways, we, we ain't going to let the devil distract, man. But yeah, going back to what I was saying was, um, in the sight of the unwise, they seem to die. Because when they see someone's head get cut off, you gonna have a person in the world like, Bumba Clark, like, why, why the guy don't take the chip? <laughs> why ain't no take the chip, man? Me like my life. Me take the chip so I can save my life. Which, you know, I, I, I believe a lot, a lot of uh, so-called Jamaicans, I don't think they're gonna take the chip. I'm being real, man. Because um, a lot of these Jamaicans, yeah, yeah, they, they don't roll around with that chip stuff, man. My body from the earth, the earth. <laughs> you know, put nothing inside my body, man. <laughs> so a lot of these Jamaicans, they ain't gonna take the chip, man. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, you can gonna have a lot of, hey, man, they didn't take the vaccine. But go ahead, that. And the departure is taken for misery. Yeah, because you might have some people crying 
someone getting beheaded or dying for the words. But go ahead. Verse 3. And they're going from us to be utter destruction. Yep. But they are in peace. But they're in peace, you see? They're in peace because you don't really die. The most high gonna put the spirit on you, you know. When these devils want to behead you, you're going to be like, man, you're going to kill me now, I'm going to regenerate, man. Yeah, all you heathens are going to go in slavery. You know, they're going to want to try to kill you. you be like, you can kill me now, man. But I'm, I, I'm, going to I'm, I'm going to come back in the chariot and celestial power and put all you devils down. That's how the martyrs are going to be. But then you're going to have those that are... I, I ain't gonna lie. I'm hoping for a standard out here, man. I hope this brother, me, we get, we get a standard, including uh, the brother Aria and um, Allah and Mashak and Allah. And I hope we all get standards, man. That's why we're out here teaching the people. That's right. Oh, yeah, that's God. It's raining. Oh, my days. But though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is the hope full of immortality yeah though they be punished in the sight of men like right why did he you know why did he get his head cut off why why did he do that man he punished himself it says yet is their hope full of immortality all right they're hopeful of being immortal because they understand that you don't really die the elect hopeful elect understand that you know, immortality begins with Yahweh Shai returning. Because when Yahweh Shai returns, you're going to be immortal. So their hope is full of what? Immortality. Because they, you know, those that are really rooted inside the gospel, they understand that when you die, you know, you don't really die. When Yahweh Shai returns, you get resurrected, man. Okay? So that's what you call what? Immortality. Go ahead, up. Verse 5, and having been and having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. It says little chastised, man. They're gonna be greatly rewarded. Greatly rewarded, man. What's that great reward? The great reward is uh is the kingdom, the celestial bodies. Everlasting life. You know, scripture tells you in Isaiah that you're gonna have um, a huge chariot hovering over you, man, in the kingdom. Anywhere you go, you're going to see a huge chariot hovering over your head, man, in detail as well. You know, when you, when you walk left, you see the chariot follow you left. When you walk right, you see the chariot follow you right, man. Anyone that messes around going to be disintegrated, man. <laughs> go ahead, that. <laughs> they shall be greatly rewarded yeah, for Yahweh, the Most High, Proved them yep. and found them worthy for himself. That's right, they found him worthy for himself. Go ahead, huh? as gold in the furnace have he tried, as gold in the furnace have he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. As gold in the furnace have he tried them and received them as a burnt offering, man. All right, keep the phone in it. The phone with the water in it. Don't need to mash up the phone. All right. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, camera adjustments, you know, the rain, all that stuff there. But yeah. But, uh, what preset were we in again? Uh, I'm going to hit wisdom of some three and five. Yeah, so basically, those that die inside the faith, they don't really die. Why is it that they don't really die? Because you got to understand that. Uh, you know, when, when you're with your Yahawashai, when you believe in Yahawashai, death doesn't really exist. Death is something that, um, you know, someone in the world, I can understand the reason why they're afraid to die because, you know, they believe in a concept called hell, which is the underworld where they burn forever. Or, um, you know, they don't know where they're going to. So this is the reason why people are afraid, but, being enlightened in Hamashak Yahawashai, the scripture just says in Wisdom of Solomon 3 that those that die, they're in peace. You know, it's funny because in this system they, 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 they believe in hell, they believe in all these doctrines of uh, devils, but then when someone dies, they say, rest in peace. 
Can you see how, how hypocritical this system is, man? Oh yeah, go ahead, huh? Class so, 7. Let's go. Oh yeah, come on, 7. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 7. And in the time of their salt and sorry, and in the time of their visitation, they shall shine. Yeah. And run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. Run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. <laughs> you, you watch uh, anime cartoons like uh, Goku, you know, Dragon Ball, uh, Dragon Ball Z. You see them moving like uh, like sparks, man, like orbs. You know, they, that's what it's, they took that from the scriptures, man. That's literally gonna happen. Brothers gonna be moving like sparks. Gonna be moving like like a super saiyans, man. You know? We're gonna be, we're gonna be the gods of the earth, man. And, and native heathens are gonna uh, gonna have to follow. They're gonna have to listen, man. You know? Because when that power is seen. The, the, the elects are going to be put on a high, high level. Trust me, and huh, if you get Psalms 110 verse uh, 3. You know, and, and that's, that's when really people are going to want to get down with this thing, when the power is seen. Everyone wants to get down when the power is seen. It's like, uh, it's like Bitcoin. No one was down for, obviously this truth is way more higher than Bitcoin, but but yeah, like no one was down with it at first, but you know, when it started to skyrocket, everyone started to talk about Bitcoin. Even when it comes to, uh, what else again? Not only just Bitcoin, you have, uh, is it Light? No, not Litecoin. There's another one, I can't remember. Yeah, cryptocurrency. You know, even when someone becomes famous, you know, you have people, friends, oh yeah, he used to go to my school. Oh yeah, he used to, uh, I know him, he's my auntie's cousin, sister's cousin. They're always trying to relate themselves, affiliate themselves to glory. So how much more the truth of you have about Shimei al Shai? Everyone is going to get down with this thing, man. Go ahead, up. To the of the ten, verse three. Yeah, verse three, yeah. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 110, verse three. Yeah. And it reads that people shall be willing in the day of thy power. Yeah. So that people shall be willing in the day of thy power. What is, and that says voluntary. They're going to be willing to listen. Oh my gosh, you know, you got the superpowers. They're going to get down with the thing. They're going to be willing in the day of the power. Everyone is going to get down with this thing, man. Go ahead, huh? In the beauties of holiness. Yeah. From the womb of the morning. Yeah. Thou has due of thy youth. And yeah, and we're, we're going to be looking young as well. The dew of thy youth, the beauty of holiness. You know, because, 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 uh, <laughs> you know, they're going to see the real beauty of being holy. Because right now in this system, they're seeing the beauty of, of wickedness. You got all these uh, celebrities out there. You know, people are like, oh my gosh. <laughs> you got these so much. You got any questions? Any questions? Are you fascinated in this? Okay, if you're not fascinated, what, what, what's going on? Alright, just, just go ahead, go ahead. It's going to get worse. <laughs> um, go ahead. Verse, verse 4. The Lord Yahweh. The Lord Yahweh. <laughs> the Lord Yahweh. You know Esau out there, <laughs> looking at us. You see, he ran away. I know how to play the psychology. He's <laughs> See, I know how to play the psychology. <laughs> the Lord Yahweh have sworn and will not repent. Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Yeah. That's Verse right. five. No, no, that's, that's, that's the one that. Yeah, so, yeah, the Lord is going to give okay, heavy level power, man. Hey, that's the reason why they why they make Spider-Man into a, a so-called black man. You know? You got that nerd called uh, uh what's the name of Spider-Man's name? That uh, nerd guy. Yeah. It's not Clark Kent, because I know that's Superman. Um Peter Parker. Peter Parker. Yeah, Peter Parker is uh, uh um 
uh, Spider-Man, but you have a new guy in New York, the new Spider-Man, and he looks like a Jake. And even when you play the video game of, uh, of that uh, Spider-Man, people are getting jealous saying, why is he able to do certain swings that, uh, that uh, Peter, Peter Parker can do? Uh, uh, oh shit, I'm so old with this. <laughs> but yeah, why is, he, why is Peter Parker not doing as much swings as the way the Jake Spider-Man is doing? Because Jake got the style, man. Jake, when Jake has power, Jake has the style. You understand? When Jake is playing basketball, he likes to do a unique swish. He likes to do a unique dunk. You know, Jake might be playing the basketball and do something like that and just throw it, man. Or Jake might do a backflip twice and, and, and put it inside the net. You got Usain Bolt, when he finishes his race, he does the stunt. Because Jake likes to be unique with the power, man. So when I was checking that uh, Spider-Man, you know, he was swinging heavy, man. He was swinging, doing backflips. You know, swinging, moving his leg up and doing all kind of flips. I was like, damn, what, what kind of Superman is this? But hey, that's, that's Jake, man. When Jake has things, they, they do it with style. So, he, of course, the elect gonna be stunting when they get that power. You think we just, you know, low winner will probably not be. You think, you know, we're just gonna have the power and just, just be boring. We're gonna have fun with the power, man. Hey, uh, if you get uh, Luke 24 starting at verse, uh, I think it's, uh, let me get it. Because all, the, all these movies that you see, they took it from the scriptures. Oh, are they reversed in it? Oh, God, they reversed it. Luke 24, starting at verse 15. Oh, so you can start 13. Luke chapter 24, verse 13, and it reads, And behold, two of them went the same day to a village called Emmaus, yeah, which was from Jerusalem, about threescore furlongs, yeah, verse 14. And they talked together of all these things, which had happened. Yeah, so you had two individuals, right? And these two individuals, they were talking about what happened to Yahweh Shai because what happened to Yahweh Shai was trending. It was um, the trending topic of that time, 2,000 years ago. If you didn't know what happened to Yahweh Shai 2,000 years ago, it's like, it's like you don't know the latest news. You know, like to, uh, in this modern day, the latest news is Kanye West apologizing to the Jewish people, the, so, the Amakites. That's the latest news. So in, at that time, which is still the latest news to this day, you know, is that Yahweh Shai, they were talking like, oh, do you see what happened to that man Yahweh Shai from uh, Nazareth? Oh yeah, he, you know, he died on the cross. There's a guy called Judas that betrayed him. It was the trending topic. Go ahead, up. Verse 15, and it came to pass that while they communed together and reasoned, Yahweh Shai himself drew near and went with him. And, and hold up a second. Yahweh Shai drew himself near and went with them. So, but, but Yahweh Shai had a spiritual power to um, shape shift his face. <laughs> Yahweh Shai had power to shape shift his face. Because when you watch uh, stuff like, uh, like Superman, Superman might fly up in the air, you know, beat up a villain, throw him on some skyscraper, break the wall, and then he would just wear some glasses and dress up normally. And then you have a, a, a public, and someone that's public will just be like telling Super, uh, Clark Kent, hey, did you just see what Superman did? Hey, that was crazy, man. Superman just threw up in the sky. He, he picked this guy up, he picked that guy up, and this and that and that. And then Clark Kent will just be like, yeah, you know, I didn't, I didn't know what Superman just did, you know. You guys talking about, you know, Superman, yeah. But he actually is Superman, though. But they didn't know, but, but they don't know that he's talking they don't, they don't know that they're talking to Superman. So Yahweh Shai was uh, standing with them and he was like pretending, saying, so what, what are you guys talking about? 
Go, go ahead. Acting oblivious. Yeah, acting oblivious. That's the right term. That's right. Verse 16. Yeah? Verse 16. But their eyes, their eyes were holden that they should not know him. Yeah, carry on. And he said unto them, What manner of communication are these that ye have one to another as ye walk? And of sad, you see, so he, he was pretending as if he didn't know what was going on. And he was saying, you know, what you guys basically could be talking about, that you guys are basically upset. But, you know, go ahead. Verse 18. And the one, and, and the one of them, whose name was Theopas, answered, answering, said unto him, Oh, though only a stranger in Jerusalem. And that's how you know they, the, the elites here, yeah, they use their movies, they steal the movies, and uh, they steal the scriptures and put it into their movies. Because that's what happens to us, uh, uh, Clark Kent. They're like, are you, are you not a stranger, Clark Kent? Do you not see what Superman just did? So they stole that from the Bible. Go ahead. A lot of things, man. Uh, verse 18, please. And and has not known the things, sorry, a stranger in Jerusalem, and has not known the things which are come to pass there in, the, in these days. Verse 19, and he said unto them, what things? You see, this is what I'm trying to say. Yahushua is mysterious, man. He was telling them, what, what things? What are you guys talking about? And he, like he said, the Bible said he was behaving oblivious. Well, he knew exactly what was going on. But like I said, Yahushua had power. Man, how wish I had power to sh sh Damn. That, and do you know how humble it is, right? Do you, do you know how humble you have to be when someone is talking about you and you know you're that guy <laughs> where it's like you're just pretending as if like what are you guys, what things like, you know? Do you know how humble you have to be? Okay. Some people will be prideful saying, I'm the guy, I'm the guy. <laughs> exactly, I'm the guy, I'm the guy that was you know, but Yahushai was so humble, he was like, what things? But well, go hear that. What things? And they said unto him, concerning Yahushai of Nazareth, yep. which was a prophet, mighty indeed, yep. and word before Yahweh, and told the people. Yeah, so they were calling Yahushai a prophet. Now, I ain't gonna read this whole thing, but um, if you read verse 25 on that, verse 25, and then he said unto them, O fools and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. So Yahushua rebukes them, man. He said, you guys, you know, what's wrong with you? Because when you read Isaiah 53, it talks about what Yahushua had to go, it was written what he had to go through. And not only was it written what he had to go through, it was written that he would overcome. Go ahead, huh? Verse 26, Art not Hamashiach, to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory. Can you see? So Yahweh had to go through what he had to go through in order for him to enter into his glory. Go ahead. Verse, uh, we'll just keep to verse 30. Verse 30. And it came to pass as he sat at meat with them, he took bread and blessed it and break and gave to them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the eyes were opened, and they knew him, and he vanished out of their sight. The Habashite teleported, man. After he gave them bread to eat, you know, he, he, he teleported, because vanishing just means to teleport. So, that, that's the power that Yahushai has, man. That's the power that the Lord has. So, yeah, it's very important that we understand that. So, yeah, man, um, you know, we got to repent in these latter days and believe in the Lord because, you know, we're entering that serious time, man. So, you know, <laughs> we've spoken about the chip, the martyrs, the spiritual power, you know, Yahweh Shai disguised himself, the reward, everything. And um, yeah, man, um, you know, we just got to carry on believing and having faith because hey, these chariots are going to start coming closer and closer. And, and, and you know, we don't want to depart from the faith. And also as well, these chariots are going to start disintegrating people out here, man. You, you watch that movie, War of the Worlds. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, 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 uh, Second Ezra 16 and 11, man. 
You know, you, you work in eight hours, 10 hours in vain. Because, because, hey, sir. Second Esdras, chapter 16, and verse 11. Yeah. And it reads, The Lord shall threaten, yeah. and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence. And what's going to beat people into powder? Those laser beams from the chariots, man. Siop, siop, poof, poof, poof. You know? Like, like, like Call of Duty. You got you are called Call of Duty? Oh, the laser. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Damn. You're going to have people running out there, you know? You think you can run from a chariot, a chariot that's faster than, ice, than a hyper supersonic missile. They're going to be running, the, the angels are going to be moving like this, moving like that, moving like this, and then, tilt, 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 dust. That's what's coming for the people of the world, man. And that's why, we, you know, and, you know, the angels, Yahweh Shai is coming to fight and conquer. So we got to take this thing serious, man. But yeah, you know, that's all really I got to say, man. So <laughs> that's, that's pretty much it, man. So with that, going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha, Racha, Kadash. So much, I promise, brother. So I want to let you know what is wrong. <laughs>